Ba ba ba! What is up, motherfuckers? This is I'm Andy, and this is I don't know what I did last weekend podcast. Today I got a lot of motherfucking fun for y'all today. Today we're gonna be talking about some very interesting information, and I'm gonna try out some new bits I've been working on. Yo, something hit me the other day. I'm kind of scared of teleportation. Like, I was thinking how bad that could go wrong. How quick we get into prison being able to teleport. What all the crazy shit that could happen. You know? Question, do you teleport naked or do you have clothes on? And where do you tell? Like, do you have to teleport to teleportation locations like a bus stop? So you teleport naked and then you put clothes on or something? You know? Or can you teleport anywhere? Like your personal car. I think what could go wrong? Like, let's say you want to teleport to a park. So you get in there and you teleport with clothes on. And some shit happens. You lose your clothes while being teleported through the wormhole or some shit. And you get there. And you're naked. Now you just ended up in jail for indecent exposure. Because some little kid just saw your little man. That just happened to you. End up in the wrong place. What if like you teleport yourself. And, like, you get there, and your one of your legs didn't, half of your body didn't teleport. So you crawling around in your hands, have to teleport back. And what if you can't get your legs, you can't get your legs back on? What if you lose an eyeball? What, what could go wrong? How are you going to get that back? Where shit goes down, what if you teleport yourself into a pine forest? It takes the wrong place, and you teleport yourself right on the tippy top. And the half that te- thing is up your ass. All of a sudden you got a pine tree and your body's like half pine tree now. Your legs are down halfway through. You're on the top. You're saying, that, oh shit, I'm pine tree now. How are you going to get out? You a pine tree. You got roots in the motherfucking ground now. You, ain't, you can't live that way if you die. Scared shit. Real scary. We're like AI taking over the world. I'm like, that would fucking suck, I guess, you know. Robots coming at you. But there's like lots of movies on that, and I'm like, well, it depends on the robot. Like, if my toaster comes at me, I can kill my toaster. If my microwave, you know, I don't know. Now, if like my ro- my car comes at me, I'm done for. I can't fight my car. A little bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? It can knock down a tree I'm in or something. My TV? That's a little bitch. I can smack that up. My thing is like, if like electronic human rights. So like my computer only has to work on its own time or something. Do I have to pay my computer to work? What What does my computer do? Does my computer have a family? How do I work that, you know? It's got itself a girlfriend, and it wants to go away with her on the weekend. What do I do? I ain't got no internet now. My Wi-Fi box just went off and got married. And where does that Wi-Fi box live now? Do I get a second Wi-Fi box? Does the other person get a second Wi-Fi box? Do I have to buy a set so they can fall in love? And what if that set don't love each other? And so now I got two, a divorce set, and I can't keep them around because if they see each other, they want to fight. Do they have short-term relationships? How do they fuck? I don't know. That's my question. Is my GPS going to try to kill me? And if so, how is it going to? Is it going to blow itself up kamikaze style to wipe me out? Because that's a lot of commitment to wipe my dumb ass out. No sacrificing yourself for my ass. That's kind of dumb. Big question you got to ask. How is it going to kill me? Also some other shit. You know they have love and hip hop? Fuck that. Let's make a show dead in hip hop. What? Because so many rappers be dying. Like, it's more than any other genre. Like, name musicians that died. That didn't die of, like, old age. Yeah, like, Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain, John Lennon. 
Razzle, um, um, Leonard Skinner, um, that's it. Like, you can't remember rappers. You got Tupac, Biggie, Easy e Proof. You got all of these, like, Pop Smoke, just Nipsey Hustle. You can just make a list, a never-ending fucking list of all these people who fucking died. It's like, oh, my God. This list is, like, there's more, like, three times more people that have died of unnatural causes in rap than like, from all of music's history outside of rap. I'm like, and R&B motherfuckers, they had, like, they were gang. Read about some of those old R&B guys. They were fucking nuts. They were packing gats and, like, in the streets and shit. But they ain't killing each other. You don't hear about Chuck Berry going at, uh, Willie Nelson or something. Uh, two different genres, but, you know. Going at each other with gats, shooting each other in the goddamn street. We beefing now, huh? Chuck Berry. That was one interesting motherfucker. He was a weird guy. And we forget this shit. Like, he got a 14-year-old waitress to go across state lines with him and they were fucking the whole way on tour. We just forget about that. He was into some freaky shit. All those old musicians, they're like into children. Like, Elvis married like some 14-year-old. Um, the Beatles had, she was standing there. The opening line, she was just 17. These guys are in like their late 20s. And they're 30. She was just 17. Why are you creeping on her? Wait nine months to creep on her. Then it's okay. It's still a little creepy, but it's legal. Wait, dude. Wait a little while. Wait till she's 18 to fuck her. It's not that hard. Wait a couple months. Where are they talking? Oh, I was talking about the um, dead and hip. So, like, Love and Hip Hop is where, like, wash, you know what Love and Hip Hop is? Like, those washed up rappers who, whose careers kind of ended. They're trying to cling on to relevance. And Benvino was on there. I don't even know. I've never, Birdman? Birdman was on there. Who the fuck likes Birdman? When your two names are Birdman and Baby? I mean, I get it. You look like Oscar the Grouch. He kind of looks like Big Bird. He's one of the ugliest motherfuckers I've ever fucking seen. But I... Really? Birdman? Sounds like a broke-ass comic book character. I'm Birdman. I can turn into a bird, bitch. I can fly. Sounds like a dollar store version of Hawkeye or some shit. But love and hip-hop is where careers go to die. Dead and hip-hop is where, um... Oh no, it'd either be the families of or the ghosts of them. You'd have Juice World, like Nipsey Hustle having drama. After death, and like Tupac and Biggie still beefing. No, they, they wouldn't be beefing no more, I'm joking. They'd be getting along fine. They'd be all together now. Hey, fuck these young kids, bruh. Oh, you think you bad, huh? Chill, man, chill. I just make no. You don't make. But be a whole war going on. And then I caught, you said you fucked my wife and all of this and that. And we can't settle my beef. Either. I got AIDS. Fuck, Suge Knight gave me AIDS. Tupac's like, Suge Knight killed me. Because, yo, he killed me too. Oh my god, damn. The fact that Suge Knight's still alive. And he's killed how many people in hip hop? He's just murdered them with no consequences. Real shit. He just killed motherfuckers and no one says anything. They're like, yeah, that's Suge Knight. Isn't he in jail for running someone over? He just killed somebody, like ran someone down because he got mad at him. Why is that motherfucker even hit in hip hop? What is he? Yeah, he made Death Row Records. Okay? Why is he a music executive? He was some failed football player. Hasn't he heard of uh, commentating? No, you know, he should have been a motivational speaker. That's what those football motherfuckers do. The ones whose careers just end. They then go around to, like, middle schools and talk to kids. And, uh, I worked hard in school. No, you didn't, dude. You got fired from the NFL because you did too much cocaine. Get a... <sighs> and, uh, kids, you need to go out there and you need to win. Like, dude... Calm down, you fucking cokehead. 
all these old sports guys. I'm like, well, that's why I guess what happens when you go to college and you get a degree in, like, painting. What do those guys get? Because they're playing, like, and, like, when you play for, like, Michigan State, you're one of the greatest football players in the country. You're going to go pro. What kind of degree do you get? What What do you... You're practicing eight hours a day, training and all that shit. But you're working as hard as a pro. Where the fuck do you get time to study? You don't. That's why they give easy-ass classes. I can read. Remember they had that one guy? This motherfucker made it like... He was a pro player and he couldn't read. And he had a four-year degree. Yeah, because they pushed him through. But I, I can't even be against that. I'm like, hey, this motherfucker ain't... He gonna play football. You, but you couldn't teach him to read first. I don't blame the college. I blame the elementary school for not teaching his ass how to read. Floyd Mayweather's a kindergarten teacher needs to get fucked up. Shit. <laughs> but I was just thinking about... There's also... I was reading about dumb laws. There's a lot of fucking dumbass laws. Like, um... In Arkansas, you can't have a sleeping donkey in your bathtub past 10 p.m. The fuck you tell me to do? I'll have a sleeping donkey in my bathtub anytime I want. I'm going to go to Arkansas and get me a sleeping donkey and put it in a bathtub. I'm going to call the cops up. Hey, I got a sleeping donkey in my bathtub. It's 11 o'clock. I want you to know that. What if it wakes up and the cops show up? Is it still a crime? How can you prove it was sleeping? You can't. That's what you got to say. In, a, like, Arizona, you can have more than, like, two dildos per household. That has to be a great phone call to make. You know, you get home one night, you drink a little wine, you turn on Orange of the New Black. I don't, I don't know, uh, that zomb- eye zombie or some shit. And you start, and you pull out the same plain white one you've had since middle school. Get on, you get a little, feeling a little crazy. You get on, type some shit out, and order up a cool ass dildo. I, I don't know what makes them cool. Maybe have extra veins or some shit. It's veiny, big, I don't know. And, um, you go to town. Next morning, it arrives, Amazon, like, super quick. Next day, who is it? It's the police. You get arrested. Got it. It's time for your phone call. Uh, hey, Dad. Uh, I got arrested. Oh, what do you do? Drunk and driving. You hit somebody. What do you do? Um, I, I, uh, this is a little embarrassing. I bought another dildo and, uh, they, they threw me in jail. W- what as a parent do you say to that? Obviously, like, okay, you're a grown-ass person. Do you, but do you leave them in jail if they learn a lesson? Because what lesson do they need to, lear- need to learn? They should have thrown the other dildo. Obviously. But that was a keepsake. I don't know. The, I don't know. Dildo etiquette is the keepsake or what quite is it. But. Where do you like get them out? I'd bail my daughter out. It'd be an awkward ride home though. I don't even want to talk about it. Alright, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the I Don't Know What I Did Last Weekend podcast. Uh, Go follow me on Instagram, N-N-D-E-N-I-N-D-E underscore comedy underscore rap. On Twitter, at Nathan underscore D-E-W-A-E-L-E-2. And go follow me on Snapchat, N-D-E-W-A-E-L-E-9. And y'all have a Beautiful motherfucking day. Had to throw that effect in there for the fun of it. Alright, peace out, bro.